Her parents spoke, Chris, and they say that they've long wanted this day to come, at least for justice to be. Uh, but they say that the way that all of this happened, with Paschal taking his own life, they say that's bittersweet. He had been on the run for 263 days. And for 263 nights, Shirley Kitchen says she lived sleepless, knowing the man who killed her daughter was out there. We both were always looking over our shoulder. We were always in any way possible getting the word out. Word of Trent Paschal's vanishing. He was on bond for his wife's murder. Other offenses, too. Accused of fatally shooting Savannah Paschal in October 2020 in Lamarck after she told him she no longer wanted in the relationship. Authorities say Trent Paschal had not been seen since April of last year when he allegedly slipped off his ankle monitor. His run ended New Year's Eve in Marion County, Florida after a call to 911. Basically a tip saying that uh, this Trent Paschal was uh, asleep in a van at a at a RV park, it seems. Officials say Paschal fatally shot himself when sheriff's deputies arrived. They knew that he was uh, uh, out on bond for a murder and, and, and other uh, violent crimes. That's the other issue, press Savannah Paschal's parents. How could judges have given Paschal one bond after another? How many other bond fugitives, people who've been on bond and have forfeited their bond and are wanted, remain out there? And that's where this fight for justice carries on right now. Paschal's parents say that they will continue to tell their daughter's story until they put an end to what they say is a problem here in Harris County throughout the state of Texas. Live for you in Midtown, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.